Good morning. It's good to see you today. Come on with us to 1 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Paul is dealing uh, with those folks there in Corinth, and they're acting, frankly, like little kids. He says that they're acting carnally as, as to babes in Christ. They were not able to handle the meat of the gospel, even though Paul wanted to give it to them, but they still needed the milk. Verse 3 says, For you are still carnal, for where there are envy, strife, and divisions among you, are you not carnal and behaving like mere men? I want to talk about childishness today, in contrast with what mature Christians act like. He mentions three things here. The first one is envy. How are little children? Little children, I don't know about all little children, but most of them, all they think about is themselves. All they think about is me, me, me. They want to get what they think they deserve. They want to get what they want. That's how the Corinthians were. Whether we're talking about physical or whether we're talking about spiritual, they were filled with jealousy towards one another. Now contrast that with what a mature Christian, how a mature Christian behaves. A mature Christian, they make themselves a servant of all. They deny themselves. They sacrifice themselves. They learn to be content whether they have much or little. You might think about what Paul told the Philippians in Philippians chapter 4. But they learn all those things. All those, all those things are spoken about in the letter to the Corinthians. But he goes on and he mentions strife. Well, what are little children like? They like to argue a lot of times. Well, what were the Corinthians like? They like to argue. They argued and they complained and they fussed about everything. Now, what is a mature Christian like? They are the peacemakers. And if they're having trouble, they, they listen to those who are, who are wise. And they seek mediation, if you will. They pursue peace. That is what they want. They understand another aspect uh, of dealing with strife. They understand what matters and what does not matter. That There's a whole chapter in, in this letter to the Corinthians about that. Mature Christians, they understand the liberties. And, and the reason that's so important is because that helps you to deal with strife. And it helps to bring peace to the situation. Little children, they just like to argue, and that's what the Corinthians were like. But then he goes on and he talks about divisions, of course. And little children, they love to make boundaries, and, and they, they love to divide things up in, in between, of course, siblings and things like that. Think about what the Corinthians were doing. Think about how they were treating the Lord's Supper. Think about how they were treating, if you will, the communion as they were not even waiting on one another. Think about just what a perversion of the Lord's Supper that was. And that's what 1 Corinthians 11 talks about. Now, what does a mature Christian do? They understand unity. That is what the Corinthians were having a lot of trouble understanding. A mature Christian, though, as they, as they grow, as we grow in grace and knowledge, we understand unity. We understand the concept of the Lord's body that we are in it together with our brothers and sisters in Christ, with, of course, Christ being the head. Remember what Jesus said. By this, as we are one, talking about unity, by this the world will know that you are my disciples. The Corinthians, they're having a lot of trouble and they needed to grow up. And sometimes we need to do the same as well. Pursuing peace, sacrificing ourselves, denying ourselves, seeking unity. Hope you enjoyed this study. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. We'll see you tomorrow morning.